Well, it's one of the big events on the Vancouver Summer Sports Calendar. The Gastown Grand Prix goes tonight. Tight corners, cobblestone streets. It's great action for the cyclists and the fans. It's always been a popular event with crowds reaching 28,000 on race night in 02, but it has had sponsorship trouble. The race took a nine-year hiatus in 94 and again went down in 09 until a local tech firm, Global Relay, rescued it with a new deal. So the race, which first debuted in 1973, lives on, and the women's race is at 6.15 tonight. The men start at 7.30. Last night's stop on BC Super Week was the UBC Grand Prix. The fourth consecutive year this race has been held. North Vancouver's Ryan Anderson had been having a great week heading into this race. He was second in Friday's Criterium, second in Saturday's Criterium, and third in Sunday's Delta Road Race. And last night, he topped the podium, finishing ahead of Germany's uh, Florenz Nauer. So the local boy Anderson taking the UBC Grand Prix, and there's his prize, a handsome trophy. Now, unfortunately, and a check, of course. Unfortunately, they didn't uh, send video of the women's race, but there are the top three. Leah Kirchman of Winnipeg wins her second straight race after taking the uh, Delta Road Race on Sunday. Now, every auto racer and fan knows that you can be the best driver with a really fast car, but that doesn't mean anything if you don't have a great pit crew. The mechanics and technicians are vital to a driver's success. Even though cyclists don't have motors, they too need mechanics and crews that know how to set up a bike for a particular course. This is when the mechanic goes to work. A rider peels in mid-race and puts his trust in the hands of the man with the tools. When these guys come in for their, their wheels, they're frantic, they need to get going, so it's up to us to be able to uh, change a wheel as quick as possible or do whatever repairs as we can. Uh, they do get one lap to allow us to do whatever repairs, but that's, you know, we need to get make sure that happens. If you kind of look at it as like Formula One or, or a motorsport type of an event where the, the driver's coming into the pit and they have to completely rely that the wheels and everything are, are put on tight and and, uh, and quickly and then back out, it's just at a, at a slower scale, of course, and in intensity, but the theory behind it really is the same. A rider's race is in the hands of the mechanic, who's sometimes taking his life into his own hands on the rider's behalf. It's not all wrenches and screwdrivers. It gets a little bit uh, hairy when you've got guys coming by at 50 or 60 kilometers an hour on your right-hand side and you're trying to get the guy back in there and they're going by like this. It can be kind of scary at that point, but it's, you know, get in and get out. In some of the bigger mountain races, mechanics are riding in cars behind the main group. They are a mobile pit stop should the rider need anything. But sometimes the rider can't afford to stop. Somebody had a problem with uh, a seat and we were hanging out of the side of the car trying to clamp a seat down and it was all crooked and, and out of position. And so, you know, you're hanging out and you're, you're just 40 kilometers an hour. It doesn't sound like a lot until you're hanging out the window of the car. <laughs> but it, it, it happens quite a bit. But perhaps the biggest obstacle to the mechanic, the rider. The smart ones know when to just stay out of the way. The best thing is just to let them do their job because the more you interfere with it, the, the more complicated it becomes and the more timely it becomes. Sometimes we have to tell them, I'm going to get my job done faster if you just chill out and, and stand aside. Uh, sometimes they're in there trying to help and it's you have to respect that they're in a hurry and you can't get too angry at them. Uh, but you have to, do you want my help or not? And if, if they do want your help, okay, then step outside, let me do my job, you get ready to go and we push them off to get going. Kristen Reed, Global Sports.